All right, turn six. First, the tally phase. We have um, this guy is going to be without a tally very soon when this guy flies off the map. Basically, all we have to go on is what's over here. J is going to drop their tally on P. Essentially, P could escape. They could both agree that P is going to have been removed at the end in the admin phase. So he's got a tally to use. He's going to go ahead and try to tally the last remaining uh, I-16 there. So right below him, the one that's undisrupted. He rolls a 1. Uh, huh. I think, I think he failed to tally. Um, because there's no other modifiers for him. So, yeah, Jay doesn't see a thing. And these guys maintain their tallies. We're just going to remove this guy. He's going to make it off the map, okay. Um, the attacker is going to keep his tally on the bombers. That's the only sane thing to do. Let's go ahead and go to the movement phase. So, first off, the bombers move. So, uh, one, two, three, four. Say what? Well, one, two, three. Bombers just get a plus one movement. One, two, three. And these bombers are going to go one, two, three, followed by this guy who's going to, again, dive into the mix. And he is tallied by this guy who's also going to follow him in. Nice, big, happy uh, combat here again. This guy's going to go one, two, three. This guy, he doesn't have a tally, so he is going to form back up as an escort. Um, we're going to choose a location for him to form up, which is going to be right here. And if he's there at the end of the turn, he can regain his... Uh, his um, escort marker. So he's going to come down here. And we're going to go ahead and mark him as an escort now so we don't forget. Okay. And these guys over here fly off the map. And this guy who's broken, he's just going to make it off the map. This guy is going to return to base, so he's going to turn around and go uh, one, two, three. He's going to want to avoid that flak. We're just going to say this guy escapes and goes home. Both sides can agree to that. And we've just got this one combat here to resolve. All right, so one combat... Let's do it. We've got the I-16 attacking with a speed of four, plus one dive. Um, and he is not disrupted. Um, right, he's not disrupted. Okay, so E, so four. Um, these guys are gonna defend again. Now, now that these guys are disrupted, no, it's better to keep the expert. What am I thinking? All right, so these guys have a speed of two, plus one dive, minus, uh, plus one dive, um, plus one veteran, minus one disrupted, minus one rigid. So this is going to be, wait, how is that the same as last time? Did I mess up something? I might have messed up something. Speed of two, dive three, veteran four, disrupted three, no radio two, still plus two minus two. Oh, wait, no, these guys are diving, so that's a five. So it's a plus three minus three. That makes sense. Okay, plus three minus three. Here goes the attacker. That's a seven. No expert, that's just going to be a single hit. On the bombers, I should say. Four. So four, no, no firepower 
on the bombers why that's just gonna be a straggler all right and now the he51s the minus three Ooh, that's a 10 plus one for expert is 11 so that is a oh that's two hits look at that 11 on the plus minus three columns two hits uh and here it goes two hits loss and straggler because there's a plus one for the expert so mr i16 gets a second loss and a straggler and let's roll cohesion for the attacker and that's going to be a six plus one attacker seven minus two losses minus one ammo minus one no radio um that's a net minus three so six five four three that's going to be two levels of disruption right yes so they're going to break at this point i'm just going to call the scenario because well let's just see what the the nationalist well i guess potentially this guy could tally next turn and just harass this guy and maybe score a few more kills. But I'm going to say the Nationalist Air Force is going to just breathe a sigh of relief with seeing all these, uh, all of these Soviet-made aircraft fly away. And they're going to go home with many stories of successes. This is one, two, three, four, five, six seven I-15s shot down, two I-16s shot down. So that's a net of nine victory points plus three more. So a total of 12 victory points for the nationalist side, while the Republic only scored two fighter uh, kills that's two victory points and this bomber is a twin engine uh, for two points and then this was just a single engine bomber for one victory point so a total of uh, five victory points so that is a net of um, uh, five to twelve so that is according to the scenario results, a nationalist victory. So this one could have gone either way very easily with uh, if these two stragglers could have resulted in a kill, that would have been an extra four victory points right there, which would have brought this to a positive three, just barely a nationalist victory. So, Good, good scenario. Uh, interesting with the fixed uh, result of the bombing. And with the wings, there's some flexibility here. Uh, things could have been very different had we set up the tallies and the vectors different, I'm sure. So there you go. Target Madrid. Uh, in this case, a nationalist victory. And quite a few air kills. Uh, reading the aftermath notes what happened historically, um, there were only uh, a few uh, fighters shot down. Um, so this, this was a lot bloodier than what happened historically. All right. Thanks for watching.